with the buffs to dark right this build right here i really wanted to try the double dark build we have dark pulse and a dark void which has a very neat combo that i try to explain as my best way i can in this video pretty much what we want to do is we want to dark pulse someone then a dark no we want to dark void someone sorry this just <laughs> both moves are kind of the similar but i feel like they should be named differently so we want to dark void someone then dark pulse on them hit them on time then go out of the dark pulse then dark void again and then we can two 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 basic attacks you will see i will try throughout this game to this content or this i will try through this combo throughout this game and again this is exclusive youtube content i hope you guys enjoy it as i didn't have time to stream this anymore so i'm gonna try to clear our jungle right here you can see our jungle is actually quite decent now as well because this boost auto take zap does a lot of more damage so i'm gonna select dark void See where we can gank bot lane, they have a rowlet, so maybe we head towards there. Oh, we have XP, okay, up so is bot lane, I'm on my way. Get some move speed here, hopefully we can still do something. I'm gonna make him fall asleep, and then we can zap him. And we go for the owl maybe. Double dark void into zap. And there we go, double KO, nice. Perfect start. They have a ride on them, ride on's passive part counters me. That, like, electric you know magne magnetic field or whatever he spawns will make people not fall asleep so that's quite rough be be careful you know jungle key is quite decent now too doesn't take out too much anymore even without nasty plot it feels quite fine make your jungle fast and we get ready for mid and i'm going to try to showcase the combo if i can you know i might also be skill sheet on it still we'll see but i think i understood it i want to see if it works also in practice you know that's what's important. So we go Dark Pulse. Again, what we want to do is... We want to... Okay, they're gonna do it right here. We want to Dark Pulse someone. Then we want to do this. Go out. And then they're already dead, actually. So I can't even do the combo. Because <laughs> we do actually damage now. We're just gonna kill him normally. That's also fine. If they if they are too tanky, it might not even work. So. By right, Dark Void. We're gonna stun him with this. Oh, okay. Never mind. He jacked button away from it. That's fine, too. Got a free jack. Wow, he got that pass. Wiggly Tough is crazy. We have even Wiggly Tough as well. Again, we, we Dark Void someone. We stun them with this. Unless they're too far away. Again, if they're too far away, he's in the Flux Zone right now. It's hard. He has move speed. Dark Void. Dark Pulse. Go back out. Then we do another Dark Void. And we have two basic attacks ready. This does so much damage. Now you can see I, I did it on the Ataria there. So I believe it's okay. Wait, is he mad at me or what? I mean, he picked Vilita for me, at least but he's running leftovers. Why is. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Unite players, eh? We can see this actually does so much damage now. It's also great to like start a fight because can, you can get a big AoE stun in. As compared to Shadow Claw, Shadow Claw, you need two, like, instances of damage to make someone fall asleep. Dark Void, you only need one instant of damage for them to fall asleep. We can also hit a big AoE combo on someone. Let's see if we can do something here. I'm gonna do this right here. And he's gone. Oh, actually, it's so, really so much damage now. Can we push this? Score. I stunned him. I got him. Oh, I will. Oh, buddy. What are you doing over here? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Uh, my thing is bugged. Okay, there's still bugs, apparently. So we do this, then we go out, then we can do this, and he's already gone as well, so I can't even do the quick combo, because they just go go down. We do this, we stun him, we go back out, we dark void, then he falls asleep, and we zap him, and he's gone. That's the combo. And actually, this could be so good. Like, and no joke. If you, if you get very good at this combo, it's gonna be very disgusting. It doesn't have much counter play either. Except for, you know, getting dark ray, of course. 
So right here we stun, we go back out, we throw another dark point, and then we have two basic attacks that can zap enemies. Don't ask me how this works. I was just someone showed me this combo. Shout out to this person who showed me this combo. Okay, he is uh, doing this, but I can just I can just KO him like this, right? Okay, he has eject button, alright. Alright, we just go back out again. I guess I got a zap. We have no healer right now, we don't have a healer. Might get sniped even in here. Are they gonna walk up? No. Okay, they're not walking up. The only thing I'm having problems with is like fighting the right dark points angle, like knowing exactly what circle I'm coming out from. That's the only thing I'm really struggling with, I'm gonna be honest. Besides that, you know, I think it's going quite well right already. Let's see if we can go to top path right here. I want to find like a very big AOE stun, possible. Maybe even a jack button forward maybe on someone. Guess we can score. Yeah, score, 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 score. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he and I moved to my dinner. I want them to do the same. We can't even move, man. The only promise are still unstoppable things, but at least we do a bit of more damage now. We KO. Stun him. Go back up. They just go down before I can even do the entire combo. It's insane. Like, literally, they go down before I can even do the combo that I want to do. That's so funny. I dodged it! Oh, but I got... <laughs> man, I dodged it! But then I got spirit checked. Come on, man, that was so nice. Are we already at 14 KOs? And I'm not playing it as well to its max potential, I feel like. I can definitely play it much better, so... That's already, like, just... This combo will be scary. Let's get ready for raids, don't mess up the raid fight. Upso is backcapping. Classic, classic, classic. I'm just gonna engage on him, actually. I always do this, I guess, sure. Just follow up on him. He's gonna have block, so I can't sleep him right now. I'm gonna wait for the block to end, and then we do this. Okay, he's just gone anyways. I'm gonna go for the armor rouge. Can I just... Oh, I missed, no. And then we double zap him. Oh, he's just gone! We even misplayed and he's still gone. Oh, my team doesn't throw it right now. Okay, nice. Are they going to try mode after this and showcase the entire combo as well? Um, just to really showcase how to do it and how to explain it. I think this game is won. Yep, looks good. We actually have 18 KOs. Wow. Okay, yeah, I think this combo is great. In, again, if I practice this, this is going to be absolutely amazing to play. And I just want to showcase the combo one more time so you really understand. So you be Dark Void first. And also this can be AoE, so you can stun multiple targets at the same time or make them fall asleep. We Dark Void, Dark Void, press it again, they fall asleep, we leave the zone, Dark Void again, and then we have two basic attacks. That's it. And you can see how this is going to do so much damage on a single person. Again, Dark Void, Dark Void, Dark Void on the person, leave the zone, Dark Void again, double basic attack. For incredible amounts of damage, of course, it, it has some max HP in it, so this, I don't think it does this much damage. But yeah, we can, uh, again, it doesn't work against unstoppable targets, though, of course, because they won't fall asleep. But yeah, in this again, this has AoE damage. So, incredible combo, I think this could be absolutely game changer for Darkrai. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one.